Hey guys, and welcome back to Outbreak, the new nightmare. So, is it the new nightmare or the Nightmare Chronicles? You know, I can't fucking remember. The Nightmare Chronicles. Okay, cool. Start software. Do it. Yeah, so when we last... <laughs> oh, the anime. Oh, shit. I didn't realize the gun in her idol animation is just attached to her hand. I mean, hey, cool, whatever. Right, so... Uh, let's go back outside. Welcome back to uh, Outbreak. Let's go. I hear the party's happening out the front. Or is it out the back? Who knows? Let's go poke our little heads outside. Now, there's something interesting outside. I just casually saunter over to the door. Um, was it that door? Might have been that door. I'm not going to bother picking up every, like, item and stuff like that. You really don't need to. So, outside. I like it out here. It is nice. I can imagine there's a cool breeze blowing, you know, the, the howls. Could be heard. Out the front. And directly ahead of us. Oh, I like the particles. I see a shed down there. Maybe there's some tools nearby. Maybe. Yeah. Look at this monkey looking motherfucker right here. Um. Mm. Now, these things are weird. They're kind of like hunters. <coughs> crossed with eliminators. They're interesting. Uh, we're out. Run. Out. Out. Okay. I don't know what we're doing health wise. But honestly, like, they're not that dangerous, you know? Pretty much everything in this game can be sorted with the pump action. But, you know, it's... They're, they're strange. Let's just say that. They are strange creatures. Right. Grab up these bullets. You can see the shotgun actually sent those two to hell pretty, pretty easily, to be honest. But that was because we've already injured them. Uh, quite a lot with the handgun. The handgun is really OP. As I've said before, you can probably get through the game just with the handgun. And I don't think, like, if you played it a couple of times, you probably wouldn't even struggle. But we've got the tools now. Oh, yeah, these dudes as well. These are twitchers. I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, I, I call them twitchers. Because when you kill them, they just start flipping you off like that. Which is, you know, I respect that. You know, if something's going to die... Uh, or if you're going to die, you're going to get taken out by something in your dying breath. You might as well flip the dude off that did it, right? Um, now, let's go back inside. Enemies are probably going to respawn. I'm not going to take the axe because, well, I guess I could show the axe off. I mean, we do get it a little bit later on. Uh, shall I show Yeah, go on. Go on. Go on. I'll, I'll, I'll be good. I'll, I'll be good, man. I'll show the axe off. It's, um, well, no matter how shit you probably think it is, it's worse. This is the animation for the axe. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't seem to do a hell of a lot of damage. And even worse than that, <laughs> enemies are just constantly going to get a free hit on you. It also has, like, no knockback. So you can attack them about two or three times in the space of time. They can attack you about six or seven times. So, I mean, I did successfully take a zombie out with it. But, mm, I think I got killed. Oh, yeah, look. I mean, I guess we could show it, I suppose. Oh, we've got a couple of zombies here. Yeah, I mean, okay, it's kind of working here. Oh, we're dead. And I didn't save the game. Lel, so we've got to do all that again. But that's the axe, uh, essentially, ladies and gentlemen. That is the axe. Now, this is another thing as well. We can go to retry. Uh, but the retry doesn't do anything. We can't even select it because um, we didn't save the game. But the retry doesn't do anything. Like, it really doesn't do anything. I, it just brings you back here. Where you can select uh, start a chapter or go continue save game. So I, I don't know what the point in the retry button is. It, you know, going to exit takes you t 
to the same place. But anyway, I will catch up with you uh, people in a bit. Well, this dude's just kind of chilling here, shaking his head, slouched up against the invisible barriers. Huh. Okay, guys. Right, we're back. So, let's send these Zeds to hell. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I did not even know you could blast them off the railings, to be honest. That's news to me. Right, okay, so we got the tools. We didn't even bother with the fire axe. It does say in the description of the fire axe that you can indeed use it to um, open flimsy barricades. But what that actually means, I don't know. Because, I've, as I've said, I've gone through this entire game. Uh, and I've never found a flimsy barricade. So, question mark? Uh, let's grab some ointment. Let's grab some painkillers. Right, and then if we push X. Yes, we can make the remedy. So let's eat the remedy and go. Uh, let's switch back up to the handgun as well, just because. Now, one annoying thing that I will mention is you cannot put an item into the item box that you have equipped. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Not really sure why. But, hey, I didn't make the game, all right? Now, oh, Now, just see how easy these hunters are to take out. You know? I'm guessing that they're not going to be that easy on uh, a harder difficulty. Um, but to be honest, like, this game, I don't really care about playing on a harder difficulty, you know? There's no value in it. I don't think there's anything to unlock. Uh, did I pick that up? We don't really need the disc. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any reason at all to warrant a harder difficulty. If there was some cool unlocks or some achievements or something, then maybe, I guess. Not sure if shooting enemies in the head does any extra damage in this game. It might do. You know, I'm not going to rule it out, but... Ooh. Not gonna rule. Ooh. Well, that wasn't here when we first came in here uh, all that time ago. We have a grenade launcher. See what I mean? See why I call these guys uh, tweakers and twitchers? Things like that. But I mean, it's basically a hunter. Right, let's go. So we've got a shotgun. We've got no handgun ammo left, but we'll find some uh, in the not too distant future, I'm sure. Now, we have some... Oh, God. Well, I mean, we blew him into next week, which is always a good start. There we go. We used the toolbox. I don't think we got hit either, which is good. Oh, hey, friend. Whoa! She departed this earth at some velocity. No. Uh, there is a book here to read. Memo to staff, be aware that the recent security change due to the influx of patients, we're going to be having regular inspections by uh, the director. You can expect that he will come on the 2nd and 18th of each month, barring holidays. Please ensure that all test equipment and surfaces are clean when the inspection happens. We're being held to a very high standard. It's imperative that our rating stays high. Any firearms or other weapons should be safely secured and locked away. Please refrain. Uh, please refer to the security memos for access instructions and restrictions. Okay. Cool story, bro. We're going to take the heart key. We're going to take the handgun bullets. Okay. And we're going to take the uh, assault rifle. Now, the assault rifle, a civilian version of the R16 assault rifle. It fires five, five, six rounds. Unlike its military counterpart, this model can only be fired in semi-auto mode. Yeah, so it's only single shot. Uh, well, semi-auto. So it's basically it feels like the um, pistol. You can fire it quite a little bit faster. And I do mean like a little bit faster. 
and it has a larger magazine but i mean apart from that that's it folks right let's go you right there lydia you uh you holding up you good there we go i mean i guess she does kind of run like she shit herself which i haven't noticed until now or well, maybe i did notice before i can't remember but her run animation is slightly better than her walk animation so like i said to the developer if you ever watch this which i doubt you ever will but if you do uh tighten up those animations man if you can tighten up the animations um that would be my biggest critique it really would uh right let's retire the shotgun for now Hmm. Yeah, let's retire the shotgun for now. Don't need the grenade launcher yet either. We'll use it a little bit later on. I'm gonna keep the assault rifle though, just in case we come up to a large amount of enemies. And a large amount of enemies in this game is anything more than one, really. I think there has been uh, rooms with three enemies in before. I don't know if I've ever seen more than three enemies at a time. Can't remember. Right. So, a heart. Let's use the heart key. Straight out of Raccoon City. Police department. Oh. Yeah, we got Zambles. I remember this. But the Zambles are behind this barricade here. Now, you might think, oh, well, maybe, just maybe, that's what you use the uh, axe for. Break that. Wrong. You can't break that with the axe. I tried. Okay, so, we've got some more bullets. Nothing else in here. That is a hell of a toilet as well. You could stick someone's head in there. Fuck sticking someone's head in there. You could stick someone's entire body in there. When maintaining specimens, it is essential that cleansing, clean, cleanliness is a top priority. The risk of spreading infection is great, especially in our trials, but it's the responsibility of all attendants to follow. For each patient, you are expected to... Uh, oh, what, what, oh, man, have I left my vape in the other room? Yeah. Probably. Well, could be worse. Could have left my coffee in the other room. Um, right, so confirm a move. Oh, confirm a movement in the latrine. Perform a shower or sponge bath. Clean teeth and ears uh, using the sink. Yeah, so basically patients have to keep clean for some reason. Apparently stops infection. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Damn it, I'm an idiot on the internet that talks shit into a microphone. Um, yeah. Following these guidelines helps keep specimens in shape for evaluation. Also assists in ensuring that they remain docile. Remember, if you ever experience aggression from a specimen, it's possible the virus has matured and you should alert the security staff immediately. Your care is our top priority. Mm -hmm. So, basically... Looks like there is a well-maintained shower. There's a two etched into the base. You can smell cleaning materials coming from the toilet. Well, I'd rather smell cleaning materials than other <coughs> material from the toilet. There's a four etched into it. The fairly basic sink. There's a six etched into it. So, we remember they've got to take a shower first, apparently. No, they've got to take a shit first. There's a four. And then they need to have a shower, and then they need to scrub between the uh, between the ears and the cheeks. So that's a six. So we have a four, two, six, I think. Uh, four, two, six. There we go. I don't mind that puzzle actually. I think that's as cl close as we actually. Oh God. Why is my gun not working? Yeah, this happened a few times before as well. I will actually admit that. I've had that a couple of times. Where I thought, okay, so yeah, that definitely is a bit of an issue. Sometimes you aim your gun, but she won't. Oh, uh, hey there. How you doing? Um, she doesn't actually fire the gun. 
That's a problem. You know? That is a problem. But, um... It, it, yeah, it did actually get me killed once or twice uh, the first time I played this game. I thought it was something that I was doing wrong. But I don't think so. Definitely just seems to be something with the game. Now, look at this. Uh-oh. Now, look where we are. We're in a laboratory. All right, Lydia. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Lock, uh, it's blocked by some furniture. Yeah, we can't get into there. I can feel cold air coming through the passive. This area seems different. It does. Definitely does seem different. Let's keep going. Let's go see how deep this rabbit hole is. Oh. Discount hunter. All right, let's shoot him in the face multiple times. Don't know why they make like vaguely human noises. That really threw me off. Oh, we're hitting meat. When you hear that wet meat slap, you know you're hitting something. I'm guessing that snap does indicate a critical hit. I, your guess is as good as mine. I'm not really sure. To the surprise of absolutely no one, we're running out of storage space down here. This is causing people to do extremely stupid things, namely storing items behind the giant fan vents. There is... Oh, did I write this down? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, there is a control box somewhere in the room next to the fan blades where you can stop the blades. The code is always the same. 995511. Which makes it easy for people to mess with it. I've told management about this and asked them to send out a memo to crack down on it. Someone is going to lose a hand. Those fans are not a toy. But, 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 but we like fans. Uh, hey, friend. Now, good lord. Now, watch these guys. Whenever the, a room resets, like you come into the room for the first time, these guys actually have a little animation. They wave their head around and, and kind of do a zombie moan sort of thing. It's really cool. It's a subtle thing, but it's kind of interesting. So all these zombies on stretchers are... Oh, save room. I'm not actually dead, apart from this guy, because this guy's like a bot, I guess. Right. So, here we are. Let's drop some of this stuff down, shall we? I made so many saves, like, the first time I played this. Because I genuinely didn't know, like, how far we were into the game, how much there was to do, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, yeah, so. Have a little look around the room, shall we? Explosive shells designed for grenade launchers. Fuck yeah, we want those. And we definitely want the handgun bullets, because, yes, handgun bullets, yo. Uh, is that everything in this room? No, no, it is not. Uh, pick it up, Lydia, thank you. Eh, yeah, why not? I don't really care about the rank, to be honest. We're not rank running this game, so don't worry. I mean, it's there if you want to. Uh, and to be honest, it's quite viable in this game. Because, like, if you die, you're not losing a shit ton of uh, progress. It's not like Resident Evil if you're going for a no-save run. And you die. And I don't need to tell you about those. Uh, okay. Although we're just a pass-through facility on the way up to the asylum and the testing facility... The load is becoming far too much. The largest issue is that they moved uh, preliminary specimen testing over to use testing over to use to help reduce the burden at the sister locations. The issue, though, is that we don't have the supplies or manpower for it. There's just too many bodies now. They're piling up in the hallway. The stench is becoming unbearable. We even have them in some of the bathrooms and eating areas now. The impact on morale has been profound. When all you see is death, it starts to get to you after a while. Months back, these bodies would come in and leave immediately. We take the live specimens, <coughs> care for them, perform the necessary surgery, then move them onwards. But it all changed after the new director took over. Trying to maximize profits, resources, etc. If we keep cutting corners, we're going to have an outbreak scenario. 
God help us all if that happens. Indeed. Right, let's keep moving. That would be awkward now, wouldn't it? Ooh, hello. Yeah, you can fire this uh, AR so much faster. Ooh. Than the uh, actual handgun. It's kind of crazy. Alright, we got a lot of bullets. We like our bullets. Gigantic fan spinning. Oof. Yeah. We don't want the fan to be spinning. Can't turn them off here. I think we can turn them off a little bit further. In. Because there is shiz behind them. Oh. Yep. Oh, we got... We, we got hunters. Should I say twitchers? Come on, twitchy boy. Take your medicine. Lead diet. Get fucked. Fan control information. We have provided a terminal connection for controlling the fan speed. To disable the fan, simply enter the unlock code into the terminal. Afterwards, the mechanism will spin down and it will become safe for maintenance. We know that. We don't want the disc. We don't. Well, that's fine. Got some more bullets over here, which is glorious. We like bullets. Well, let's make the world go round. We have 60 of the... Ooh, shells. Yeah, we'll take the shells too. Because why not, I guess. Now, what was that again? 99522. Five, two. Oh, you released the lock. Excellent. I like the way it says it's a, a, a lock. When it's clearly the fan speed, but... Shh, shh, shh. We'll take the key. The ornate key. Sometimes it calls the keys funny things as well. It will ask you to get a clover key, for instance. Uh, and you'll pick up a key and it will just say simple silver key. So you won't make the connection. But that is actually the clover key. So fucking watch out for that. Not enough inventories. An M4000 grenade. Don't we already have one of those? No, they're not going to give us two grenade launchers. Is that really a thing? Okay, these bodies aren't doing the weird yawny thing. Um, are they going to give us two M400s? Uh, you can save. Right, can we put some stuff back, please? Yeah, we already have one. You can actually get two freaking grenade launchers in this game. Seriously? Even OG RE wasn't uh, that generous. Even as a secret, you know? Oh, let's go get that other uh, M400. Now, the grenade launcher, in my experience, was not that <laughs> was not that fantastic. You know, it just... The door is locked. An ornate silver colour. Oh, we're going to use that bad boy. Oh, we got a twitcher. Get fucked, twitcher. Okay, he actually had a long range attack. Haven't seen that before. Oh. Okay, that's genuinely quite interesting. Alright, let's just saunter down here. And go down here. Oh, yeah, and there's some AR ammo as well, so I'm going to grab that. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay, I guess. <coughs> now, I'm not sure if her clothes are actually torn and raggy. I think that indicates how much health she has. I think. You can see her top's a little bit shredded there. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm not an expert, all right? Let's keep going. Oh, see that zombie's doing the yawny face. I'm going to aim up at this bitch. Oh. Yeah, I don't think aiming up actually does much with a handgun. Oh, 
Oh, hey, friend. Let's just unload in his face. Ooh. Straight over there. Good man. And there's some cream. Uh, I've seen these barrels before in the shipping building. Uh, okay. Right. Good. Gotcha. Shipping building. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Now let's go back because we need to jiggle our junk around. We really need to adjust the old tackle, if you know what I mean. Have a look. Okay, so actually, I guess not all of those guys kind of like move their heads when you enter a new room for the first time. Or at least reset the room, I guess, is a better way of putting it. You know, I'm a wordsmith. I do words. Uh, now, let's... Let's get the AR, I suppose. Reload. Let's... What should we take? We are actually pretty much at the end now, I think. If memory serves. So... Let's put that... I think we are... I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm fairly sure. This is close to the end now. Pretty sure that holds six. Yeah. Right. Uh, put... Should we get the shotgun out? Shotgun's... Oh, I guess we could go for that as well. Oof. I mean, that's giving us 12... Uh, yeah, 12 rounds plus 5 spare. So we've got 17. Which ain't too shabby. Handgun. You know what? I guess we could swap out the handgun for the shotgun. Like that. Some more shells. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how smart that is, but <clears throat> I guess we're about to find out. This is when I go downstairs and I find out that we actually do need to pick stuff up. I'm just like, oh. Well, I'm pretty sure this is basically it now. I guess we're going to find out together. Oh, we're on warning health. We might actually die here. That would be really fucking awkward, wouldn't it? Oh, we're good. Right. Yeah, that would be really, really savagely awkward. Just die here. We haven't found the Magnum yet. Hey, Zambles. Oh, yeah, this, this guy's an absolute unit. I actually thought... That that guy was like the end boss or something. Uh, he isn't. At least, don't think he is. Yeah, don't think he is. Oh wait, no. That guy actually was like the end boss for here, I think. No, not quite. Not enough inventory space to pick up the Magnum. Well. Now I have the Magnum. The specimen overflow has caused us to reopen the old facility out, uh, out in the courtyard. We couldn't find the key for the door for the longest time either. I think it's been abandoned now for almost a decade. We had a lot of the other... A lot of the older living quarters down there, including some of the examination rooms. There was even one particular room where they uh, felt the need to combine a bunker with a bathroom. It's strange stuff. Anyway, I'll deliver the key as soon as I'm finished logging the bodies. We've moved up here. That place always gives me the creeps, though. And there's a key there. Ugh. Right, well, I guess we're going to have to walk back and drop some stuff off. I really, really thought this was the end. I mean, you know, shows what I know. I mean, fuck's sake, Titan. You useless bastard. You should know this game inside out by now. I know you've only played it once. 
and you were so enthralled with it, you committed every fucking room to, to memory. God, stop being so useless, man. Honestly. Hey, I got coffee. Ah, life's grand when you got coffee. Ah, yeah. Right, uh, okay, so let's... We don't really need two grenade launchers, to be honest. I mean, in an ideal world, we'd have four, but two just seems a little bit too much for now. All right, let's put you back. Combine you two together. Uh, we've got a magnum with three rounds. The magnum is... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's... It's a it's a gun that does the shooty bang bang. It doesn't seem to feel or look much different to the pistol, but it puts mofos down slightly faster. Let's just take the handgun back out. Uh, probably don't need the. Oh, yeah, see what I mean? You can't actually drop things if you've got them equipped, which is really annoying. And the OK button is B. Oh, the um, to open and interact with things is B, but the OK button is A, which really annoys me. It probably annoys me way more than it actually should, but it really annoys me. <laughs> okay. Let's go for that. I don't know why it sounds like she's bandaging herself up when she's uh, taking a gun or equipping something. Seems a little bit strange to me. You know, hey. It is what it is, I guess. Now, let's go all the way back down there for a key. Are you telling me she couldn't slip a key in somewhere? Slip it into her shoes, for instance, or, I don't know, tie her hair with it? She's got to have a pocket, right? Somewhere. Surely. Sure, there'll probably be some colourful comments about that. All right, okay. So, oh, see, see, he he did the face thing. Right, there's the clover key. So now we need to go all the way back up. This game has one of those um, <sighs> events usually where you pick up an item, and it will just spawn enemies in front of you all the way back. And I don't dislike that. It's it's you know it's all right. <laughs> But the way Resident Evil did it was kind of, I don't know, it felt good. Whereas this game just decides to throw enemies at you for the hell of it. What's that? Right, see this thing here, this gribbly bastard, this hunched over zombie. These things are tough. That absolute unit that we fought earlier has got nothing on this. For a while, I actually thought those things were invincible, but they are like, look at that thing. They are the MVP of the game. Quite often, they're the boss. So here we are. Now, the grenade launcher you would think is a good fit. Now, the, tr the trouble with the grenade launcher is it doesn't really do enough damage. Uh, it, well, no. It doesn't do enough damage combined with its rather pathetic kickback. It's not a fantastic weapon, uh, to be honest. Okay. It really ain't a great weapon. Oh, we're on, we'll be on like 35 minutes. So I'm going to take a break here. We're, probably, we're so close, I think question mark to the end of this chapter now anyway but um i could be wrong i could be misremembering but it doesn't matter we we don't have to do a chapter or video or anything like that so anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time